and I am the garden teacher at St. Perpetua's Garden of Learning. It was established in 2004 and all the children come up here for different types of classes. We have our outdoor classroom, we have solar powered features, we have vegetable beds, several different fruit trees, grapes, and chickens, and our newest masterpiece was done by Sir Cavalot, and he involved every single one of the students from our littlest transitional kindergarten, fourth and four-year-olds and five-year-olds, all the way to our eighth grade students, 13 and 14. They were involved from the cob process to putting it on the wall, and Michael was even kind enough to let them shape some of the flowers and do the painting, and I have to say out of all the years I have been here, this was their, they were most excited about this project and have talked incessantly about it. And it was a gift for us to be able to see how such simple materials become such amazing earth structures. didn't have any sand in it at all. Uh, I mean, sometimes the clay will naturally have some sand, but it didn't have very much. So it was, it was kind of a weak mix. So I added about 70, about 60 to 70 percent sand to the mix. So I put that earth into this box and then um, added sand, water, and I mixed it up with my feet. All right, do the cob song. Feels really, really good. So I encourage anybody who wants to Get in here. Oh, I go in? Sure, yeah. If you want to take your socks and shoes off. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. Not everybody. I think only about. Yes. Yes. I'll do it. I'm going in. I want to see everybody. It's fine with me. I mean, we're oh and then. Um, go. Go. Yeah. Oh. if we didn't have drainage, water would pool up, right? And so I made a really uh, good point of making sure that there was drainage, right? So I've been using my level here to make sure that there is low points. There's like a low point here, a low point here, a low point here, a low point here. And so 
Um, we'll be continuing doing that. There'll be a low point here, low point over there. Right? So. The uh, Garden of Learning at St. Perpetua School here in Lafayette. And we just finished sealing and coloring our bench. And uh, so we painted these butterflies here and left the, uh, the beads kind of exposed. And so this is a linseed oil uh, with some mineral spirits. We put iron oxide in it for the color. And um, so we did a, a few coats of sealer. And so, um, so yes, yeah, so we can go ahead and uh, it can get wet now. It can get rained on. We have these little drainage holes. We have um, different slopes. So we can test to see how the drainage holes all work. So we can get the bench wet. And... All right, so if you come a little closer, you can see, you can see the water draining out, the drain there, some of the water going into there. Uh, this water here is draining into there. This is going into there. This water is draining into there. This water is draining into there. So it seems to be great. It's a little puddle there, but for the most part, this is fantastic. So, um, yeah, so it's, uh, it's done. Yay. Yay. <laughs>